Hello and welcome to Unrest Digest. Um, yeah, this time I wanted to have a news article here, like I, did, I say in every single video. But I don't know how to do that yet. However, I did want to show you a little video because I was searching for Bud Light. Yeah, I'm going to keep talking here. The parameter is zooming on my face too much. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, you know, talking about Bud Light, it's still not really in the main sort of part of the news anymore, but it's still going on. There's still a lot of news articles and there's a little bit going on. So, um, I found this little clip and I, I, well, see what you think. America presents real women of politics. Like, I thought this was a joke. I'm sorry, Today, but like, we salute all the real woman leaders of some people, I think they need to look like, I get it. Like, oh. Real women. Like, just, Doing you're going to put yourself things. in a video, take better photos, like, do you know what I mean? Maybe I should turn the light off and the glare. Yeah, I've ruined this. I think you get the point. That's why we're introducing the real women of politics koozie. I don't know what koozie is. I know you can't see anything because of the glare from the light. You can salute the real women of politics. I thought those were supposed to be conservative women. And they only got the, they've got blue in the background. I just don't quite get it. Of a big woke company. Well. That works too. Real women of Order your real women of politics koozie today. Sounds too much like coochie. I think that would put me off. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into the actual video. There's my co-host, Poppy. So, anyway, let's... I'm not one of these people. I don't like I've just woken up. Please excuse me. Um, yeah, so that was a clip on a news article that i seen. Uh, what was it called? Sarah Huckabee Sanders something. Bud Light ad is so bad it's funny. Okay, thanks for your opinion. I don't think it was even so bad it's funny. It was just bad and like her face ex facial expressions really, really creeped me out. I did like her when she was the uh, press secretary for Donald Trump. Quite funny, actually, quite funny. Well, she wasn't funny, she just didn't take any ish. So, Bud Light sales have fallen a staggering 17% since Dylan Mulvaney debacle rock nation's favorite beer yeah so why not talk about it? i heard there's a bit of a gravy train going on so let's see if i can get more than 10 views bad light sales have fallen i've already read that bit i do this every time <laughs> this is probably why i don't get paid to do this but light has been hit with a huge 17 percent fall in sales in the in the three weeks since disastrous pay partnership with dylan mulvaney paralyzed the brand according to an industry research film firm volume also dropped a huge 21 percent the week ended april 15. um i did also see some of this in the uk actually it, it, well i seen one photo where there was like one bud light box at the back and cause no other way around the bud light part was full up no one had taken any and then there was cause which i had like one or two right at the back of the shelf um so mate oh, bloody day this is daily mail yes yeah, it's daily mail there's like ads popping up left right and center jacob reels Jacob rees mogg revealed he has disabled <laughs> something disabled. Yeah. <laughs> I'm disabled. Yeah, I think a lot of people do think that. Anyway, tear jerking mum reunited with the owner after falling off cliff. Moment. Moment dog. Right. Dog photo. Right. Sorry. I get distracted. According to an industry. Uh, <laughs> this is embarrassingly bad. The latest sales data from Nielsen. Nielsen IQ and Bump Williams Consulting show, shows a sharp fall from the week before where sales plunged 6%, the New York Post reported. Oh my God, that's Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> I got off, so what am I looking at here? It's like somebody from, uh, you'll have to zoom in because I bloody can't. I need to get this all sorted out. I need, I'm trying to, I'm supposed to have a new studio uh, or a studio or at least a different room and I haven't done any of the research into how like videos and stuff work. Maybe it's actually just just something simple like Windows Movie Maker, I guess. Daniel Blake, who is Anheuser Busch Vice President for Mainstream Brands, has stepped back from his job just days after Bud Light's VP of Marketing, Asilla Heinerschneid, took a leave of absence. Well, when he left was personalized beer can. Beer can. Heinerschneid. Hey, Snide has been hired to... Oh, I don't know what that was. Sorry. 
If it had overhauled Bud Light's marketing in June 2022 with the idea of freshening up his image. The firm said both bosses decided to temporarily step down the decisions were reportedly not voluntary. Given the circumstances, Alyssa, I, I don't know. Anyway, something to do with people in the uh, uh, corporate se sector. Replacement wasn't, yeah. Blake, who is based at I Don't Care, Mulvaney, 26, announced a partnership in a series of videos posted to social media at the start of April 2023 to coincide with NCAA March Madness Tournament. In the six days that followed, he was quite insulting of the Madness Tournament, the March Madness as well. Oh, why did I know so I thought it was quite grass, I was like, sorry. In the six days that followed, Anheuser-Busch lost more than six billion in market cap, it doesn't even say market, in market capitalization. The campaign has been polarizing with some famous faces boycotting the company while others have left, leapt to Mulvaney's defense. Singer Kid Rock posted a video online of him angrily shooting at several cases of Bud Light in protest over the rampage. The pro-Trump singer, 52, said the shooting guy, F Bud Light and F Anheuser Bush. Have a terrific I don't think he saw I don't know if he saw that. I, I haven't seen the video. But a country singer, Travis Tripp, also removed Anheuser Bush products from his tour bus. Yeah. Dylan, it's not because it's not just trans stuff, it's uh, Dylan Mulvaney in general was oh I just seen the video. Let's should we listen to it. I've already got one video and this they might take. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those bloody games. Oh, sorry about that. Here we go. Let's listen to it. Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Let me uh, say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. It does look like he's drank a can, of, uh, a box of it already, though. There's Kid Rock, and he has three boxes of, well, four boxes of Bud Light on a table and he's just shot them with a Wow, well, I, I believe it's some kind of rifle, gun, machine, I don't fucking know. I think that was a machine gun. Yeah, it must be. Apparently they're quite expensive to have in America. You have to have a certain license and they all cost like upwards of 20 grand. So I, if I was going to guess, I'd guess a P90. I, I don't really know guns. Quotations in the world as a secondary teacher in regional Western Australia. Well, very professional here over at Unrest Digest. Um, I lost the article. In the term of it, ensured up with the announcement of the collaboration, and has a Bush issued a statement. It said that it supported the band's decision to work with Mulvaney, whose videos follow her journey. And has a Bush works with hundreds of influence across our brands. I want to find many ways to offer authentically connect with the audience across various dem demographics, the rep said. It added, from time to time, we produce unique com com <laughs> commemorative cans for fans and its iconic Clydesdale horses in an apparent attempt to reset the following controversy. It's something to do with the horses however they did on 9-11. I don't know what horses got to do with 9-11, but apparently they do. And um, they basically put out an advert to get that old nostalgia feeling of pro-America, to sort of paper over the cracks they did of the whole anti-America sort of thing with Dylan Mulvaney. Um, you could argue it is American. But, um, yeah, because obviously the way that Dylan Mulvaney acts, not saying he acts on American, but this whole new sort of stuff with trans is new. So people claim it's not American. Oh, bloody hell, what boring. I wouldn't watch me if uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 can't, I don't get the point I'm trying to make. Basically, they were like, "Oh yeah, remember us? You like Bud Light? You like America? You like the horse? It's remember." They're like, "Right, so you think they've forgotten about the um, Dylan Mulvaney thing? Because yeah, Dylan Mulvaney isn't just like a normal trans person. They could put any trans person. No, no one would care. It's this over the top, like acting like a woman thing." which is offensive to women and also other trans people. It could have been anyone else and there wouldn't have been an issue. I mean, maybe if they um, chosen, I've forgotten, I've forgotten her name. Oh my God, you know that conservative trans person, if you do, tip of my tongue, tip of my tongue. 
Blair White. There we go. Sorry, there we go. Always take a little time. If I can edit the video, I'll cut that bit out. Um, I, yeah, there might have been a bit of an uproar there, but that would be from the left. I, actually, I don't know what they would do if she did get some kind of sponsors. It'd be quite interesting. Spend so much time traveling across America listening and to and learning from our customers, distributors, and more. I really don't care anymore. Myself, what a creepy women workers are forced to strip to their underwear in Russia. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, uh, let's see what the, let's, let's quickly scroll that one, that looks funny. What is wrong, is this Daily Mail? Yeah, what is wrong with Daily Mail? And they, these, they're getting like more and more into this whole like sexualization in general. Like, like here's Lizzo's new bikini snaps. And then it's like, it's, it's always just people in, here's this person's new bikini. It's just, they're getting very, uh, Nude, I guess you could say. Women workers are forced to trip to their underwear as part of daily checks to prevent theft in undercover footage from Russia's version of Amazon, run by the country's top female oligarch. Huh, it's a bit weird. The strip search happened in the morning. Staff arrive as they leave the premises in the evening. <laughs> well, that's fucking odd. I'm only here for the pictures. I don't care what the story is about. Oh, well, there you go. That's the internet. At least they've blown out the back of her head. <laughs> Thanks, Daily Mail. Oh, wow, they are as well. There's, there's a video of it. Yep, just walking down in underwear. And, yeah, odd. Well, that's Russia for you, anyway. Caused shock in Russia. Workers under the supervision of video cameras undress and go to the inspection point to report. <laughs> and suddenly after this, there's been an increase in uh, security uh, appli job applications to, to, the, to the building. And it's just, just for mine and your safety. <laughs> uh, but there you go, that's the kind of thing that can happen in a totalitarian state. When you start putting cameras everywhere, Get people start getting paranoid, things like this happen. But anyway, I'm going to end the video there because I started talking about beer and then went to women. Oh, actually, that kind of makes sense as to what happened. Anyway, uh, catch me in the next video if you want. That is, one day I'll upload to this Rumble channel and I can figure out how to get it to work. Cheers. Please like, comment, share, subscribe.